my lane fast, call it high speed. I've been working hard, yeah. I've been find out which pen port we were on because I've got a lot of snagged up wires. <laughs> we're in the right port now. A touch of wood, we can get up our image. Here we are, we've got it up. Let's see if we can shift it to the other side of me. Which isn't going to happen. We'll have to work like that. So this is only the second Frenchie I've ever done. You don't see that many people tackling wood burning Frenchies because they are a difficult dog to wood burn due to all the wrinkles and the flat face they're quite a challenge. And for anyone who's watched my channel before, that is what we do. We embark on challenges. So there's a lot of building of fur to be done but all that fur has to go in the right direction if we don't move it in the direction it's going in then we will not capture the shape of our dog and they have so many difficult things like even just this first big fold that comes all the way down And then there's another one hits it straight away and then you get up to more of the mouth area which is then a challenge as well in itself. So it's good to get a feel for the piece you're working on. Try and find the shape of it first so you can start building in your mind this mental image of how the dog looks you know how, how all the shapes blend together and all the turns and folds and creases and wrinkles and different layers you know it's good to be able to try and work them out I don't know what I've done here with my pen God knows what I've done there. It's going to have to be blended out. But 
when you're creating like a dog portrait ideally and what I always try to do with any of the subject matters I create is try and give them bulk and what I mean by that is try and give them some mass onto the board that I'm working on I don't want them to look flat and skinny I want them you know to have real shape and structure to them and I remember when I did my first ever full horse portrait and I wanted to create the full bulk of the horse's body my god was that a mission that took weeks with this coarse hair pen flicking and flicking and building and building and finally I got a magnificent uh, horse out of it in the end that I was quite proud of but it just shows you how much work has to go into creating something with depth and bulk I was trying to explain to one of my students in the group yesterday it's, it's not about seeing everything as flat so when you say you've got this dog in front of you here and you can see its ears up there transferred in it's not about seeing it all as a flat image it's like seeing it in a 3D image in your mind and that is that's the secret and the skill you've got to try and convey with your wood burning is to not see it as a one dimensional thing just bear with me a second because I've lost my inhaler as per won't be a second In the bedroom on the bed. Right, we're happy now. And I'm going to try and keep this at an hour only because um, I want to download it so I can put it on YouTube for Tanya she's really keen to learn which I really like that about people who are really keen to learn and you know want to study more which is brilliant but I needed to try and study this dog as well um, let me see what effects I can do with it because I would like black and white filter there we go I've got it. 
in black and white now as well so I can see where the drop offs are If you give me a minute to work out which direction everything's going in let me zoom in there. Okay, so here. Is a big like drop off of the face. By the looks of things. And this part is underneath. So I'm just going to put a row of fur in, just following the shape of that edge. even here there is actually a crease This fur is just it's just coming away from the crease and sort of dropping off. However, this area is a little darker. If we're getting right down to the bottom bottom, sorry my slang, bottom of the face You can see it in dip if you see it in different lights sometimes it shows you the things differently. You can see just drop offs and where the uh, shapes change one key thing you want to try and get in is this bridge of the eye all dogs have this not so much pronounced as the Frenchy they have like bulbous eyes don't they in a way I don't know what I was doing there when a micro skew god knows I 
And then there's his centre fold. Ah, oh, right, that was dark affair, just going up there. Because around here, he has a fluffier area. You'd have thought I'd have worked all this out before starting, wouldn't you? But work out the jigsaw as you go. Just not liking this bridge above the eye. Not liking it at all. As soon as we get this face dialed in, I'm going to switch back now to the color image because that one. See, this just reads wrong here for me for some reason. It just doesn't read right. Don't know what it is about it, but something just doesn't sit right wow how much lighter it looks on your screen compared to mine it's so much darker Let's see if you can see no you still can't see fully it's so much darker on mine than on yours Let's look here. This. So they have so many like tears to them, to dogs. But this again is a completely different, another drop off way back down the neck that's why my graphite line went there so all this fur has to go darker than this stuff
we'll get there. We'll find the steps. couple of pens you can use really for dog hair <clears throat> uh, you can obviously use these spare shaders ideally an extra small size so you've got a finer line a skinnier line you can also use things like a micro skew but you will be there forever that's going into like ridiculously fine detail Let's try and get his head reading right. And we have to follow the first strokes in which obviously they're going. Which is common sense, really, isn't it? And this is further back. There's a real life dog air on my pen. I live with three chihuahuas. Two long head, one short. And you'd be amazed where dog hair gets, it gets everywhere. <laughs> I've ordered a new brush for the dogs. Hello. The MH Mad Mada No can't pronounce your name hello sir or madam Sorry I didn't see you hello hello and good morning or good evening wherever you are in the world Looks like MH Matt has gone because I didn't say hello back in time. I apologize. I was so fixated on trying to find the shapes of this dog. I'm going to have to move this board round. As we get at this weird leathery eye substance that a Frenchie has. Now we want it narrower than wider at its front section and 
and then tailing off now we're, uh, again so it goes into the tear duct this is part of the eye still they have this white bit the uh, frenchies they have like a dark area near the tear duct then a white strip and then the eyeball have you ever seen any of them cool dogs with they have a blue eye like one blue eye they look like some like android dog one normal eye and the other one is blue They always look to me like they should be a robotic dog. Now this is right far back up near the ears and then it obviously tails off down the back of the head remember when you put transfer lines down you don't so the, see these graphite lines you don't burn over them and make them a solid they're just there as guides that's all they're there for just to help you to set your parameters you know that nothing more than that you don't need to burn them you don't need to So all right, there's, I'll burn round all the outline first. No, that, that isn't how realism works. Just, they're just there purely for guidance. picture I did get off Pixabay wow it's got some detail in it if you are to get completely carried away could do with this dog. I'm going to turn the pen heat up a touch. Thank you for sending likes. Thank you. Yeah, it was, uh, if you want to go into real super fine detail on this dog, you could with this image of Pixabay. Pixabay is a free, royalty free uh, site where you can get images. A lot of them are extremely good quality. You download them for free. print them off make them to whatever size you want obviously first before you print them 
and then you can transfer them to your wood and make a portrait I can watch people like me squirm I'm trying to make a Frenchy portrait Imagine there's not many harder dogs. I would say stuff like the uh, British Bulldog would be a harder subject. To wood burn. Done a few dogs over the years. I don't do that many pet portraits in this quest I've been on. I like to mix it up. It's been a little while since I've done a dog, so... I chose a challenge again. Instead of going for a Mr. Easy dog. I went for the harder one. By look at it, there's no if you if you're wanting to learn more about any given subject that you're into, there's no point in always going down the easy road. As you don't learn as much. Is when you go down harder paths. And we're all always learning, you know. If you come across an artist who say says they've learnt everything and there's nothing else to learn from art then I would challenge them that that is a false statement we're all always learning even the grand masters are always learning there's always some new technique or but just always something new to learn from every every single piece of art you do there's always something new to learn at this time I'm just getting more of the dogs 
shape in This is the second big wrinkle. And this one actually starts to curl round to the front of the face. But we can follow this wrinkle round from this side. Always trying to think which direction the fur would be running in. I'm going mega dark, just coming out of the wrinkle because it would be mega dark, wouldn't it? As you're coming out of that fold. And here's another one that's right in front of it, another wrinkle. which goes off towards the nose area. Then if we swing it round a second. There's another one here. And I'm just dotting them in. And it just helps you to start seeing more dimensions. That's all it's about at this stage is trying to see in my creative part of my mind how this portrait should look Daylight was hiding everything, wasn't it? So I'm just filling my inhaler. I 
attributes of this is obviously the far side of the dog then up here there's a ridge that's the top of the head that drops away off to the side so there's a ridge let's see if we can get these hairs in with this extra small spear shader ideally you want to use a micro skew for these these you do uh, go over the lines I think I'll finish that one off with a micro skew because otherwise it's going to be too wide This is that weird leathery substance. Almost the same as the nose. That goes been below the eye of a Frenchie. And in this I got started but far from finished you'll find yourself if you're doing dog portraits you'll find yourself revisiting the eyes a lot as the portrait progresses You, you'll think you've nailed it, you know. Then you'll put everything else in and suddenly your eyes don't seem right. So you will revisit them often. a tiny white spot right there in the corner Them French's eyes look like when I always look at them, they look like the burning fire inside the colour. When you zoom in, it looks like all like flames. But there's much to do on this eye to push it back. I 
And one thing all dogs have is above the top lid, there is always like a dark like sort of recess area when you look at them up close you'll see it you'll see that this dark band light is not quite fully been captured on this eye yet an area up here that light sort of is under the top lid you may have to define it more and on this particular subject I picked being an idiot they're not highlights on this dog, the low lights. Usually what I try and do when I'm wood burning dog's eyes is not to go to the full depth, you know, don't burn it <clears throat> as dark as it appears. Just turning this pen down to get this low light in. If you leave a little bit of it unburnt, that's when you can add that sort of glassy effect. You know, so push the corners back. Because obviously you want to get the shape of a, of an eye. It's a good dark and deep in the corners. And then remember what I said about this bit that comes under the eyelid. It also spreads its way down the eye as well it like sort of starts to wrap its way around just up here at the top Sun's come right out now and it's on my screen. Can't even see my screen now. <laughs> there, there's better. Yeah, so with a low light, they are a high light, but we call them a low light because they're not a full light, just leave it white, you know, they're, they're a dull high light is the best way of describing them, but we call them low lights. You can get some of that pupil 
really deep. And the eyes are the most important part of the project in a way because that's the thing that people are drawn to isn't it immediately is the eyes so if you can nail them you're off to a good start Like I said, you will revisit and I promise you, you will dab at them again some more through the portrait. Let me see what time is, because what I'll do is I'm going to cut this live. Thank you, buddy. Uh, and then so I can download it for Tanya and then go again. So I'll be back up and running in a second. Okay, see you in a minute. The people who deceive me, muddy hands break through the chains, go free me. Looking for change, looking for pain, pulling a mob, pushing a train. I'll never stop, stick to a lane, pick up the pieces and go rearrange. Uh, I'll be the best above all the rest, put me to the test. Uh, expect nothing less, your check is